Dip, dip, I see, fix, you are not it. Dip, dip, I see, fix, you are not it. Dip, dip, I see, fix, you are not it. <sighs> All right, guys, welcome to Paul Fulton RC, and again, thanks for tuning in. Today, we are going to be building the mighty Tamiya Hotshot. I've already got the Super Hotshot, so I thought, get it in the collection, get the original. Let's have a look in the box. So there we go guys, there's a look in the box, um, all pretty standard Tamiya parts for the for the time period. Um, running a Max 10 Easy Run ESC in it with a 4000 kV motor. Um, one of these short profile digital servos off Amazon, I think they're like £15, 4409MG, quite fast, nice. Already done the driver. I tend to put um, Tamiya Vanti drivers because I'm not very good at painting the face so because it's got the visor on it it's a lot better so let's jump straight into step one which is creating the differential yep There you go boys, there's step one through to three done. All going good. Yep, now we're moving on to step four, which is getting that 4000 kV motor in there. Let's do that next.
boys, both are in. The thing that always uh, puzzles me about hotshot builds, it's not a case of open bag A and everything you need will be in bag A. It's like you've got to search through the bags because some are in part bag A, some are in part C. So yeah, we're all good. So that's the motor done. Now we're moving on to step six, which is start the front gearbox. Yep. There you go boys, there's step 6, through to 8 is done, front gearbox, yep. If you've noticed I've used a lot of that, um, that sticky grease because I want it to last. I don't want to, um, I know I'm kind of pushing this with the um, 4000 kV motor, so I really wanted to um, pack the grease in there. I've also gone with the high speed pinion so this thing is going to fly but that's what I'm after. I'm after an epic hot shot because I know they are very capable buggies. Not sure about the gearbox because the um, diffs are open diffs, they haven't got the shields on the side so you've got to use a lot plenty of that sticky grease in there but yeah. Now we're moving on to step 9 which is starting the rear suspension assembly, it's flying along this. Here we go, rear suspension on, 
that um, bracket for the mono shock. I've just gone back and I've stripped both of these gearboxes back down because I wasn't happy the fact they only put that um, sticky grease, so I filled them with ceramic grease, so I'm happy about it, so that's good. Now we're moving on to step 12, which is the front uprights, then the front suspension arms, and then attach them to the gearbox. go boys step 12 13 and 14 done front suspension is really um i like i like the hot shot and all them series suspension that ball joint system works really well so now we're moving on to step 15 which is paint the driver which we've already done get the battery stays on the little hatch and then um, we're moving on to step 17 which is the suspension crank do that something new every day I've never seen a setup like that before that is proper smart it, what I've seen in videos of this hot shot the back suspension even though it's one mono shock it's it performs really nice so right that's step 18 done now we're getting the rear gearbox connected to the chassis well the top part of the chassis so I'll do that next I find that really, really something else. The way that is designed, it's just mad. But the end result performs well, I hope. Yep, so now we're moving on to step 20, which is creating the two shocks. Yep.
fresh soup, man. Look at that. Look at the way that works. That is proper nice. Front suspension, smart. I thought these shocks were plastic when I first saw it. So that's just casings. So yeah. Sound as a pound. Now we're moving on to step 26, which is getting the electronics in. Yep, do that next. There we go, boys, electrics in, nice fit. Now we'll get it stuck underneath the car and we're good to go. And there you go, guys, that is a lot easier than I remember being in the super hot shot. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put the on off switch, but um, yeah, it's gone, gone in nice, that. Looks smart, doesn't it? This just, I don't know, what's meant to be there. But yeah, that's smart. So now we're just gonna stick the bumper on, get the roll cage on, and jobs are good. So when we come back, that'll be all done. If you made it this far, thanks for tuning in. Please drop us a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and it is very much appreciated. Let's get that bumper on and all the good bits. So there you go boys, that looks absolutely awesome. I am well impressed with it. Um, the back's a bit weird. No, it doesn't work as well as the front. But I wish it didn't do this, which quite a few Tamiya's seem to do. I don't know if there's a cure for that, but yeah, I'm well made up with that, lads. Yeah, enjoyable build, it was really nice to put together. So long as you follow the instructions, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy. So I've already done the body. So I'm going to give it the body a wipe down, get the stickers on, and then another RC will be done. And there you go guys, it's finished. That turned out pretty nice. I am made up with that. Never thought I'd own one of these. I remember being a kid and seeing this, and the, the car just really interested me. The way it looks, I mean, it, it 
it's beautiful it's a beautiful RC proper smart nice build quite complicated but we follow the instructions yeah so let's have a see what she sounds like come on baby let's see that servo alright Jesus! Made it this far. Thanks for tuning in. That's another kit in the collection. See you in the next one.